Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in California with NorCal Copwatch as he complains about his rights being violated through the Bain Act because some cop shined a light in his face. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's going to have to go to a safe space, isn't he? So while he goes to crawl to his little safe space, Let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, uh, don't do that. That's a Bain Act violation. You don't want to do that. What? It's a Bain Act violation. I can sue you personally if you want to do that. Uh, yeah, California Penal Code 148G. Learn the law, buddy. Oh, 148G. Let's go ahead and read Section G of that particular statute. The fact that a person takes a photograph or makes an audio or video recording of a public officer or peace officer while the officer is in a public place or the person taking the photograph or making the recording in a place he or she has the right to be does not constitute in and or of itself a violation of subdivision A, nor does it constitute a reasonable suspicion to detain person or probable cause to arrest the person. So basically it, say, it says right here that uh, an officer can't arrest somebody for filming officers in the course of their duty, which is pretty standard, but think about it. You got a guy coming up at night and therefore the cops need to see who you are, so therefore they flash a light in your general direction to see who you are. That's not anything unusual, dipshit. A little longer than a few minutes later. What's your name and badge number? Jeff. Don't touch Kozak, 319. Kozak, you got a business card? No. Department issued identification card? Uh, yeah, it's in my wallet. Yeah, let me see it. You're supposed to show it to me if I ask for it. Come on, buddy. Hey, hey, show it to me, bud. Hey, yeah, show it to me. You gonna show it to me or what? You gonna show it to me or what? Are you gonna show it to me or what? Look at, look at what this guy's doing. On, well, this fraudster was so butthurt about the situation, about cops uh, using their tools like their flashlight to identify somebody nearby, that he decides to go down to file some complaints at the police department because they decide to use the equipment for its intended purposes. Oh my goodness, such a Karen this fraudster is. Good, how are you? Good. Hey, can you point that light away from me? No, I can't. Okay. What are you doing that for? Well, you're pointing it right at me. I can't see you, so I, I want to be able to see you. Can you see me now? Yeah, I can see you. I can see you now. Yeah, so this is for my filming purposes. Okay. Can you please no. put that away? Nope. All right, guys. This is, okay. This is exactly okay. what we're so talking about. So how can about. I help you today? You were on the traffic stop, right, when you saw me earlier? Yes, sir. How can we help yeah. you right now? Yeah. Can I speak to you? I'd yes, like to speak know. to you. I don't want to speak to this punk. I want to put a officer complaint in. Okay. A verbal can you take that for me? I can take a verbal complaint. Perfect. Thank you so much. What is this in your hand? Are you going to hand me something? I was going to hand you a complaint form. I yeah, no, I don't need that. I'm going to put in a so verbal is it complaint. Jonathan Moore? I'm sorry? Is it Jonathan Moore? Who? You? I'm not Jonathan Moore. Okay. Is that is that who you guys are? I am not Jonathan Moore, no. Okay. All right. Would you like to know who I am? Sure. That'd be great. What's your name? I'm a private citizen. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, private citizen. But uh, let me ask a question. Uh, Private citizen, did you know that there's over 300 million private citizens in the United States? Uh, could you be a bit more specific as to who you are? Oh, wait, yeah, I can understand why you don't want to identify yourself, because if you identify yourself, they know who you are, they can run your uh, name and find out if you've got any arrest warrants. Yeah, I understand why you want to remain unidentified, because you're a criminal scumbag who probably has a few warrants out for his arrest anyway. I understand, I understand. I have every right to film you guys, Okay. and your guys' job, based on your policy, is to respect our rights to film you and to not interfere. Okay. Right? 
So Officer Kosak did that. He interfered with my lawful recording of you. Okay, as for the complaint, just so I can document it, how did he interfere? Uh, using his spotlight on the car as I was asking him to identify, which is 1010.2.1A, department issued ID. You are supposed to promptly show that to me as a member of the public. When I asked you to, it has a photo likeness of yourself, right? Okay. You're supposed to identify, show it to me. I was asking him for that as he was getting into his car. He said, oh, it's in my wallet. I'm not gonna show it to you. I'm busy, okay. gets in his car, drives off, not wearing his seatbelt, by the way, 1013.2 seatbelt. You shall, do you need the definition of shall? No. You shall wear your restraints when you're operating a vehicle owned by the city. Okay. Right? There's another violation. Well, uh, I just wonder how many laws have you violated? Because I watched your video the other day where you uh, got pulled over for a brake light being out and you acted like a damn sovtard. And while you were uh, acting like a complete sovtard, I counted numerous violations that you had under your belt at that point. So uh, isn't that the pot calling the kettle black right there, dude? I mean, come on now. You're not an innocent party in all this. Okay. I mean, come on, guys. Your job is to respect the public, first of all. I'm there filming, trying to keep you guys accountable. Okay. Transparency, right? Yep. There's no need when I'm asking you to disrespect me, get into your car, slam the door in my face, then turn your spotlight towards me. I'm standing literally like... From, from me to you at the car, maybe a little closer. I was probably a little closer, I'm okay. not gonna lie. Which, I'm allowed to touch the vehicle. It's it's not against the law to touch the vehicle. I'm knocking on his window, asking him to show me ID. Okay. Right? He turns the spotlight a foot from my face, turns it on, right? Mm -hmm. Turns it on. Okay. This is not as bright as you guys' lights. Do you know what I'm hearing when I hear this man complaining about a spotlight being flashed in his face? And that's the honest truth right there. He's a grown-ass man acting like a child. In other words, a giant, giant man-baby child thing. You came out so, here and you immediately showed resistance towards me, I didn't. showing me I disrespect. Tried, I, I, like, I like to be able to answer no. you by name, just like how I gave you my name. You guys didn't give us your name, so I'd like to know who I'm talking about, out of respect. I don't need to so. give you my name. Okay. That's you, the thing. You don't need to give me your I name. I don't need to give you is my there, name is there because any, any, any I'm other still complaints talking. You want to go I'm over. still talking. Okay, but is there any other Shut complaints up. that you want to Listen to me. All right, well, I'm going to end the conversation. Look at this guy. All right, sir, is there anything I'm else trying to complain? speak. He won't even give me the respect gonna, to speak. No, you. I'm not being hostile. You can go. You're dismissed. Go back to work. I'd rather speak to somebody who has dignity, integrity, respect for members of the public. Wow, an arrogant, self-centered, narcissistic, jackass attitude problem right there. I guess your uh, parents didn't exactly raise you right. They didn't uh, discipline you properly while you were growing up, and therefore you turned into a problem for all of us in the world. Oh, boy. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?